All right, here's another clown world story for you guys in the news. New York City, of all places, black and Hispanic teachers to receive massive payouts over culturally biased licensing exam. The $1.8 billion payout is the largest legal settlement in New York history. So there's black and Hispanic people that couldn't pass the teacher's exam. This title makes it sound like teachers are suing, but these people were never teachers because they, they were never able to pass the exam. So they were never teachers. And they're trying to say that because they're black and they're Hispanic, the tests were uh, biased against them because it was racist. So they're, you know, they're going to, it's like winning the lottery for these assholes. I guarantee you these people, they're just stupid. You know what I mean? They didn't study. They got bad grades and they didn't pass the, ta the damn test. And now they're going to get rewarded for that? Approximately 5,200 black and Hispanic former and aspiring teachers will receive part of a massive legal payout from New York City. What do you mean part? Are they going to give them even more money? After court rulings determined their licensing exams violated their civil rights. I wonder how many stupid white people took this test and didn't pass it, right? How many white people didn't study or were too dumb and they didn't pass it, but they're not getting any money because they're white, right? These racist freaks. According to the New York Post on Saturday, Manhattan federal court records showed that 225 people who failed the liberal arts and sciences test used for teacher licensing between 1994 and 2014 had received settlements of at least a million dollars. This will be the part of the city's larger settlement accounting for more than $1.8 billion, New York City's largest payout. So they've already paid people going all the way back from 94 to 2014. So if you got a $2 million payout, like a lot of these people are getting now, how long does it take for a teacher who actually passed the exam and is teaching right now? They're, they're only teaching because they passed the exam. They, they, you know what I mean? They studied, they tried hard, and they passed the test. How long does it take these people uh, to make $2 million, right? We're, we're rewarding stupidity here. You know, people who don't try get rewarded. Nuts. The lawsuit originally filed by four teachers in 1996 claimed that the exam was culturally biased in favor of white applicants, according to the plaintiffs. More than 90% of white applicants passed the multiple choice and essay tests, while black applicants only pass 53% of the time. Hispanic applicants only receive passing scores 50% of the time. So what you're saying is 90% of the whites studied for the test, only 53% of the blacks did, and only 50% of the Hispanics did. A trial in 2003 originally ruled in favor of the city in 2003. Ver, uh, versus 2012. Now, in 2012, a Manhattan federal judge found that the licensing exam violated the applicant's civil rights. Uh, so judges nowadays are way more woke. In 2003, we didn't, we didn't even have that term woke yet. So we had common sense back in 2003, right? But by 2012, nope. Uh, so he's saying that it violated the applicant civil rights because it did not not assess general knowledge, teaching skills, or competency in content areas. I don't even know what the hell they're saying here. Nor did it predict competent job performance. Maybe, maybe they're saying that you didn't take their low IQs into account. That's what it sounds like. So there's actually one guy that got... Uh, a two the, a two million dollar payout. This dude here, he, uh, they, they did an interview with him. There's like a one minute clip. You're gonna find out just in that one minute just how fucking stupid this guy is. And no wonder he didn't pass the test, right? Wait till you see this guy. But he's a millionaire now. <laughs> a federally appointed special master was later appointed following the ruling, while the city continued to appeal the decision. 
However, by 2018, former Mayor Bill de Blasio began starting the settlement process by setting aside $1.8 billion for payouts. You New Yorkers are still paying the price for electing that douche. <laughs> Serves you right, man. You know, it makes you wonder, is New are the, the taxpayers of New York paying for this, or is this some kind of federal money where we're all paying it? Makes you wonder, right? Because they wouldn't tell us. Lead lawyer Joshua Son blasted the city as it continued to use the test to deny a generation of black and Latino teachers a fair opportunity to be considered for teaching positions and deprived a generation of students of receiving the benefit of having a more diverse teacher population. That's what diversity is, right? Uh, in order to fill those slots with diverse people, people of color or whatever, you have to drop the standards way down. Otherwise they can't, they're not smart enough to get in there. You know, whose fault's that? Lazy asses. This is like a snowball runaway avalanche effect. I mean, are we ever going to be able to stop this shit? Because it's getting worse every day. Doesn't make any sense, man. Uh, these people are so dumb they couldn't pass the test, so they, the city gave them a payout, and now they're multimillionaires. These fucking. Wait till you see this guy that got interviewed. You won't believe it. The standards are the standards, a Brooklyn principal said. It shouldn't be based on what would be easy for blacks or whites to hire people who are not qualified and change the requirements because a certain group didn't pass the test. Is bullshit. Yeah, it's bullshit, man. What's going to happen if uh, this obvious trend is going to continue in blue, you know, blue states, blue cities and shit? Uh I mean, you're just going to have dumb teachers. They're going to gonna help prolificate dumb students. That's all we get out of diversity, guys, the dumbing down of America. You know, while the rest of the world doesn't do that, China ain't never going to do that shit. So come back in 100 years and China will own our ass. Probably more like 20 years. All right, here's the guy that got interviewed. This dude, his name is Herman Grimm. He's 64 now. Okay, lives in Queens. And, and on July 5th of this month, he was awarded $2,055,000 for being stupid. <laughs> it includes uh, $1,583,000 in back pay for time never served. It says time never clocked. Lost interest accrued and other compensation. Yeah, I hope his lawyer gets half of it. He's probably going to spend it on crack. <laughs> Fentanyl. I can't breathe. All right, last but not least, this dude did an interview. He's one of the guys that uh, couldn't pass a test. Uh, let me know if you can understand anything this dude's even saying. Watch this. Ready? Set? You know. Um, then I started getting phone calls and I wasn't taking that serious. Hmm. And um, that was nice. The lady, um, the lawyer said it was very nice and they knew I wasn't taking them serious <laughs> because um, I just wasn't taking them serious. You know, why you, would you send me letters and tell me about... Um, this guy is so hard to understand. Imagine if he was a teacher. Also, because I know a lawsuit either they go through or they won't go through. You know, from... Uh, reading, hearing news, and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And um, I know a couple of people that had, um, well, not in education. We could sort of understand them, I guess. Fuck, dude. But they went through lawsuits, and they didn't um, win or anything like that. Mm -hmm. So to me, it's just like fabric. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. either, you know, but it's... <laughs> you hear that in the background? His uh, smoke detector beepers going off, telling them his battery's almost dead? He's so dumb. He's so dumb he don't even know when to change the batteries in that shit. <laughs> Listen. To me, it's just like fabric. <laughs> you know, you either, you know, but it's uh, when I finally got it in my head, they kept pushing and kept. This fucking guy's a millionaire now. <laughs> a multi millionaire. Because he's too dumb to pass a test. 
that everybody else has to pass to be a teacher. But he's black. He's oppressed. He can't breathe. Explaining things piece by piece until um, I sort of get in my head and just listen to him and they went from there. Okay. But still today, I don't really believe it. But mm. This guy's a millionaire. He's a fucking idiot. Unbelievable. Good job, New York. <laughs> All you guys, hopefully it's New York taxpayers that have to pay for this shit and it's not like federal money or anything. If this story doesn't catch your fucking hair on fire, man, you probably don't have a pulse. You know, I mean, mo most people aren't going to hear this story. <laughs> it's just so crazy, man. It's only getting worse, guys. You know, what do you think? You think this the guy deserves uh, over $2 million for being too dumb to pass a test? Huh? It's got to be racism. It's got to be. That's racist! <laughs>